morning. As stated on the title, we are heading to the Philippines. And if you are new here or if you didn't know, I am 100% Filipino. I believe the last time I visited was 2018. I need to be immersed back into my culture and um, be surrounded with literally my people. I'm really excited to take you along because I cannot wait to share my culture with all of you. And if you haven't been to the Philippines, obviously, this is going to be a little bit of a glimpse of what it's like back home. So I'm really excited because it's going to be a whole series of vlogs in the Philippines. I'm staying for a month, so I want to take you along for the whole month. Today we are prepping for our trip. I'm leaving in about three days and I have to get my brows done today and my lashes done. I have a love and hate relationship for getting my lashes done because they tend to look very droopy on my eyes um, and it's very hard for them to get it right. The last time that I got it done for Hawaii, it wasn't that bad, but it was still droopy. I do want to show you a package that I got today and I Thought it'd be perfect to bring for the Philippines. So Cuckoo Intimate sent me a package and they have a letter. It's so cute. Look at the stamp. Happy Valentine's Day. Hope you love your new cuckoos in cherry red. Love, Cuckoo. So I got their Valentine's Day collection. I got a red thong. It comes with this red dress. They also got their usual scrunchy. Um, underwear. Oh, that's so cute. And I also got black. What is this? Oh, it's like a camisole. So cute. So thank you so much. I love every piece. I'm bringing every piece to the Philippines. Outfit today, if you can peep the toes, they are bright red orange. Okay, like I'm not trying to show for free, but just really simple, bejeweled up. You already know me. And then I will be wearing my cap because I know that as soon as I get my eyebrows threaded and done, it's going to be, my face is going, or my eyebrow area is going to be bright red because of how sensitive my skin is. So we're definitely going to be wearing a cap and you guys already know what cap I'm talking about. Actually, I think to match my toes, I thought it'd be really cute to wear this mohair jacket. And I can feel what you're To, to go through. Most of today is going to consist of packing, laundry, cleaning up, and all that sorts. So it's not gonna be too exciting. But I do wanna show you my lashes and they look phenomenal. So basically I got an M curl. So the problem is with a regular classic D curl, they curl up like this, right? But an M curl curls up like this. So with that, it gives my eyes a little bit more of a lift instead of it drooping down a little bit on the corner. Yeah, so I got a wet look, M curl. I don't know the sizes of what she used, but she kind of just like mixed it up to create these like spikes everywhere. I also obviously got my eyebrows done as well. They're still pretty dark. So I got brow lamination and brow tint and it's still... I don't like them when they're this dark at the very beginning. That is what it looks like. I'm gonna get to packing and then I'm probably gonna go eat. Da -da 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 -da.
Today we're up very bright and early, it's 7.30 a.m. and I'm going to get my nails done. By the way, this is my first time trying a Russian manicure. She's about an hour away from me and I didn't know that she was about an hour away from me until I put her on the map, but, but come along. Also, I ordered this really cute travel bag that I don't think will come in on time. It is basically kind of like a jumbo version of this bag that I have right now. And I'm kind of sad that it's not coming on time because I really wanted to use it for like as my travel bag. But it looks really cold outside, so we're gonna wear our hoodie. And we are probably going to wear... Should I wear... See, I'm not one to wear sneakers, but should I wear these? And just be super comfy. These are the Asics and Kenzo collab. These ones are like a funky pair too, but I got gifted them, so thank you. some snails. He's a chef. I'm the sous chef. You're the I'm gonna taster. be the one cutting. But on another note, my nails look absolutely beautiful. I've never had a manicure this good, you guys. Like, the cuticles are clean. Clean cut. Clean shape. Just like the finish of the nails as well. Like, nothing beats a Russian manicure. Like, I concur. Don't eat them. This time you can't be snacking on them because we only have so much. Dixon. I'm tasting it to make sure it's good. This is the only sous Hello, chef the heck, you ever about? see that all she does is be in charge of the music. Okay, since when? <laughs> since when? Like so he's cutting it into bite-sized pieces because I prefer it this way and I eat like a baby. What's next? Um, Maybe I should just be the filmmaker, not the sous chef. <laughs> exactly. I'm the videographer and in charge of the music, so. My point exactly. She's a glorified DJ. This has already been cooked before. It's been cooked, cleaned, and fried. And we're just making up a sauce with it just to eat it with some rice. So the onions are on the pan. We've got some tomatoes, garlic. Shit. Shit. Shut up. Yellow peppers, green peppers. Works. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. We have snail, we have onions, we have bell peppers, we have chili flakes, we have garlic, we have um, shallots. And then to finish it up, just a little bit. Vegetables. Vegetables are good for you. Funky. Good morning, it is flight day. So I am getting ready to leave. I am going to be taking the train to the airport. So it's gonna take me about an hour to get there instead of an hour and a half. And so this is what we're wearing. I just have my headband on and my camisole, black track pants, black um, track jacket. So this is the whole outfit, it's very comfortable. Just track pants and my Asics. I'm gonna go get some food at the airport to eat a little bit and then head on to my flight. <laughs> Finally in the 
Philippines. And we're currently at our Airbnb in Manila. I'm trying to be quiet because there are people still sleeping. But we are at our Airbnb in Manila and we're in BGC right now. Yeah, we're heading to Pangasinan and then we're going to Baguio tomorrow. So yesterday I landed at 5 p.m. All I've been eating is Filipino food, obviously. I, I think my goal this whole time that I'm here is to just eat Filipino food. Like I'm not trying to eat anything else but Philly food. So today is my first official full day. We're gonna head to a cafe because I have to upload a video and then after that we're gonna eat from around a little bit. I'm here with my family. So obviously my sister and my mama and my dad is in the other room. I'm already so dewy and I love it. I don't really gotta do much but just do a little skin tint, you know? So there's this cafe nearby where I can upload my video and eat. So we are gonna go. It's about 7 a.m. Take care. Favorite pair of jeans. My belts and flip flops. And my toes. My nails. Cute. Thank you so much. Look at these beautiful trees. I love whatever type of tree these are. I've seen them in Tokyo as well, and they're beautiful. Um, I'm still a bit jet lagged so I had to come back to the Airbnb instead of walking outside too much and tiring myself. I got takeout from Manam. They serve a lot of authentic Filipino cuisine and I got their mango pomelo sago which is really good. I'm really trying to fight the urge to sleep right now because it's going to ruin the rest of the week if I keep sleeping too early. currently in Baguio and I'm currently walking from my hotel down to my um, grandpa's and grandma's house and it's so like nostalgic because I'm trying to remember the streets and so yeah we're gonna have breakfast and go to the market to get some fresh fruits so we're gonna get everything that I used to like eat back when I was a child I used to get a bunch of different fruits and we're gonna eat everything today Wait, is the canteen still here? So we used to have a canteen where yeah, we eat um, right here, but I don't know if it's still. We purchased obviously like our snacks. Oh, yeah, can we go there later? Everything. Yeah, I think that. I don't Sally, know if Sally's still open because that's where we also would get like street food. Um, but look at the dogs. This was our. This was me as a child. Just imagine me as a child, just playing ten twenty. <laughs> No, it used to be further down the street. No, 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 it used to be down here, I remember. Nanai Mercy's. Oh. Is it no, this it's one? Not, it's oh. Looks like a cat version of Luna. Version cat? No, 
Oh. Or you. Or you. <laughs> you said such a naughty girl. <laughs> such a naughty girl. Okay, Uh, oh, yeah, we can try. Lanzones. Okay, naman ko. It's good. That. Avocado. Is it avocado? You like? No. Ano yung shot kala? Okay. Kulang pa yan. Ikilo mo. Bayad po. Bayad po. Here. Pwedeng maano. What is this, Tita? What's it called? Espada? Espada, no? Ito yung espada. Espada, we usually eat this with um, spice vinegar. Rice. Oh, one half. Oh, this one. Ilan po, ma'am? One pork? Kuya. Ayos ka hindi yan? Um, I think buko and ube. Buko and ube. Ah, four, four po ko yung. Ito lang, plastic mo na lang. Salamat. Bali. Tawan. Tawan. Ay. Ay. Tingnan na natin. Tata ka. Tingnan na natin kung gugustoy niya. Yes. Oh oh. Oh yeah, the guia bano. Okay, quick food haul: longan, oranges, mangoes, strawberries, guia bano, which Papa will cut, and then we got green mangoes. We usually eat this with um. Alamang. This is ube. Real ube, not the fake stuff. You scoop it up. It's like a paste. You just eat it like that. Just yeah. Hi, so I'm already back in the hotel because I couldn't sleep with my grandpas and grandmas because they have cats and I'm very much allergic to them because I'm already starting to get like little rashes all over my body. I just don't react really well with cats. But, but I'm also still a little bit jet lagged. I've only been in the Philippines for I think 3-4 days total and already I just feel so much more like in my element. Getting to see all my relatives and family here um, has just been a really good time. Eating all the nostalgic food and the fruits that they have here because we don't get to eat rambutan or we don't get to eat longan or all these fruits that are just local to the Philippines. I just love being home. I love being able to eat true Filipino food and be in the heart of my own culture. And also here, one thing about Filipinos is that their hospitability will always be shown. In every in every way possible getting to the airport of the Philippines they would always greet you good afternoon good morning they would always make the effort to greet you and um, just even like everywhere you go so and that you know I'm not used to in London not even not even the same extent as in Canada as well like Canadians they, they're known to be you know very nice people but Again, like Filipino hospitability is like top tier. I also added the clip of those little kids dancing and basically I told them that I'd give them a hundred pesos um, if they danced. It was just such a fun encounter. I even took a picture with them because they wanted a selfie together. <laughs> 
so I took a picture with them. It just shows and reminds me that no matter what little people might have here, they still are very happy. They still find joy in the little things. They still find joy in their everyday life. So for me, it's something to reflect on because in the Western world, we're always, we always seem to have all these problems that in the grand scale of things, you know, most of it doesn't really matter. So that was just my little reflection of my stay so far. I've just been really taking it all in. Tomorrow we are actually going to Vigan, which is another little province in the Philippines that I've never visited before. I don't know if I'm going to end the vlog here, but if I will, thank you for watching. Episode 2 will be coming up soon.